What is up you lovely, beautiful people? How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in today to today's electric unicycle vlog. We are here at, just outside the hotel, Park in Radisson. This is my last day here in Manchester. And uh, I thought I'd take the InMotion V8 out on a nighttime mission, lighting it up like a little Christmas tree. Here we go, check it out. Boop. It's important to stay, uh, stay nice and light and bright. It's important, especially on these little night missions. Um, so let's go. I've also got, brought out the steady cam as well. See if we can get some steady shots, but I've actually placed the stabilizing function on the GoPro on the head there. Just to make sure, I've actually no, make sure I've actually never tested it out before. Um, so that should be fun. That should let's turn this phone back on. Let's go back into the features. There we go. You get some idea as to what's going on. So we should have some smoother footage from the head because the handheld stuff's good, but at the same time, it's nice to have a couple of different angles. And I can work on angles like this one. Okay, hope you're enjoying these vlogs. I'm absolutely having a blast making them. And it, like I said, it's my last night here in Manchester and we are off to Nottingham tomorrow. So I just sat in my hotel room there, packing my bag and I charged my unicycle up and I, I was looking, I was like, you know what? It's fully charged. I've not been out on it really today because I had three show, uh, two shows. Friends were around, Mr. Stevie Freeman, thanks for coming along with the fam. It was great to have you. A little shout out to my mate, my main man. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to pop out on a Saturday night around Manchester, England, and see what we can find. So the, the goal for this is just a cruise. It might, this is might gonna be a long one. 15 to 20, I'm gonna go till I get bored really. Um, or I've run out of places to venture around. But we don't wanna get into in, uh, any trouble with the police. But I think they'll be busy keeping an eye on people on their nights out, if you know what I'm saying. Let's get through these cars here. So that, so I wanted to, I'm not, I was looking on Google Maps, I'd have been down the canals, Oh, and also, if you watch the Manchester Canals video, um, the audio on there was just absolutely shocking because I used up my phone, so I kind of wanted to uh, do a better job on that. So here we are, back on the GoPro. And the sound quality in the GoPro, you know, really does make such a difference. It's unbelievable. We've got some hen nights out. Manchester's a good place for the old night out. We are just cruising. So I have no destination in mind. I'm literally just gonna go for a cruise and see where, see where it takes me really. See what we can come across. No, 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 no. Loving these lights. Just think of the lights, I am. Um, very rare. I actually don't have them on during the day. This is, uh, I may as well talk about it. The subject about, about riding the unicycle is that you attract, let's go down here, you attract so much attention. Um, so even having the lights on during the day attracts even more attention. Now, look, don't get me wrong, I don't mind, I honestly don't mind the attention. Nine times out of ten, it's positive. So, uh, but there are some times where you get some, some people just can't contain their excitement. It's the way I look at it. And uh, they start saying some silly things and get a bit too excited, but that's all right. Everyone's different, aren't we? Look at this thing. There we go, what is that? That's crazy. Never really been into buying a really expensive sport cars or becoming a millionaire or you know having loads of money to be honest with you i'm just well happy owning in this wheel this wheel is just sick i'm gonna go through the middle here Woo! 
this is some stuff I wanted to play with just because it's so slow or the traffic's so slow we got a guy on a frigging quad bike here yes boys I'll race you <laughs> a te Tesla <laughs> yes boys this is what I wanted to find this is perfect yeah my, my wheel maxed out there at 80 and it started giving me the beep straight away and it actually gives a little kickback <laughs> that was brilliant all right let's not be stupid though I don't want to encourage bad behavior on the uh, on these things you know take it easy so this is where this is where we uh this is where we beat her <laughs> so these boys can't keep up Whoop. so when i lived in melbourne I used to live in melbourne australia in the city uh, I had a fixed gear bike and I absolutely used to love, I got really confident and cocky. Never came off my bike. Um, look at this, got a friggin' Lamborghini here. Yes, bruv. Yes, mate. <laughs> got taxis pulling out, we beat this guy. Uh, and yeah, I used to ride around on, I used to go out on my bike just in the traffic because it was just, oh, it was just so damn good. It's so much fun. Cars like this, you know moving so slowly as long as you're cautious and stick within your riding abilities you should be all right you should be safe all right this is this is turning out to be pretty dope i really hope the uh we'll go this way really hope this is recorded on this microphone I'm going to stay focused on this guys, I don't want to uh, just enjoy the view, enjoy the footage. This is crazy. I'll go around. Take the, take the one leg off there. Those shark turns, zip through. Fuck me it. Oh sorry, swore <laughs> flipping like this. Is, it's quite exciting doing that, you know. Um, might have to actually go back through that because that was um now, you know we won't do it we won't we won't turn around let's keep on going see what else we can find yeah so i'm a fixed gear bike in melbourne it's so much fun yeah, these boys are back the boys are back <laughs> they're following me let's see if we can get across this road I mean that's pretty cool like, driving around on some quad bikes that's pretty dope but <sighs> this wheel you know let's get off the road here and um, have a little look at some architecture what have we got here St Peter's Square not sure isn't it's not really saying what it is let's go through this bit Woohoo! Oh, you know what? I've got to do this more. This is um, this is very cool, very very cool. Some war memorial. Sorry, I hope that didn't sound too. I'm just not sure what type of war or war memorial it is it. Who were they com commemorating? Um, it's a beautiful one though. Okay. So I'm not sure where we are really, I've just, like I said, I've just gone for a little stroll, a little jam session. Hello. Hey, I think one's one of them, they're hoverboards, where did you get that from? I got it off the internet. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's called an electric unicycle. Unicycle. 
Yeah. yeah. He saw Lewis Hamilton riding one. Lewis Hamilton's on him. Yeah. Have to go check him out. Thanks. Yeah, they're they're amazing. They're so much fun. I'm a little like a Christmas tree. You can't be you can't be too careful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you just practice. Yeah, it's just like riding a bike. Yeah. No, not for at least for the first week. Then depends. This is 12 kilos, um, but you can get lighter ones and bigger ones. Yeah, that's it. You always, you know. Woohoo! See you later. <laughs> that was nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. You always get people people like that all the, the the questions you get asked mostly are the one that i get asked the most is the first one is how much well what what is it is it like a segway now i've never had a segway and i think segways are pretty cool but um, and i think the mechanics of this have been are, are from this are from a segway right it's the same way it works um so yeah, what is it electric unicycle does it have a seat which is a funny one because i don't, don't know why you'd want a seat but um, i guess unicycles have seats uh, and the, the most asked question i reckon is how much is it now I, I don't know about you if you ride if you ride one of these let me know how you feel about this question because it's just a funny one i never know how to answer it at first i don't want to sort of say you know how much it costs uh, for you guys, this 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 unit here, they retail for a thousand pounds in the UK. But I managed to find a reseller, seller on eBay, uh, who sold it for seven hundred and fifty pounds. Um, so that was a great deal. I was really happy with that. Let's keep on moving. But you can get. I've actually the same dealer. Oh, is a police. Police. Uh, he's selling them for like 650 on the UK eBay at the moment, which is, is pretty damn good for such an incredible unit. All right, let's go down. Not sure where to go now. I'm a bit lost. Let's go through here. Ooh, dark, darkness. Ooh. Actually, let's put my light. I've not even got my light on. <laughs> I'm all lit up like a Christmas tree, but I've actually forgot the in motion epic light look at that thing it's so bright i swear i swear it's like the lightest one lightest uh light on any euc what was i talking about yeah so questions what else do they ask me where can i get one the internet how long have you had it Ooh, let's go down here let's get sort of going through the bright lights really but yeah, all positive stuff, you know. I've actually, I said, it really is all positive. I've actually had no negative feedback or comments or anything or aggression. It's all, it all comes from a good place, which is very, which is amazing, isn't it? Such a great response. And you know what? The laws in the UK, um, I did check them out. It is a very grey area. Um, and they, they're unsure themselves. Those little segway, those little unis, those, um, what are they called? Those are things everyone got for Christmas and people were charging them and they were blowing them up, blowing up in the house and stuff. Those things, which have come dramatically dropped in price. I remember when those things came out, they were like 500 quid. Nah, I think I seen them in the store, Aldi, that German store, uh, the other day for like 80 pounds. Um, slip across here. So yeah, those are those are illegal, and I think segways are Ill actually illegal. But um, but these, on the other hand, I couldn't find any information, even from the UK website Speedy Speed Wheels, which is a UK seller. Those guys are amazing. Go check them out. If I remember to put the link in the description, he does some really great videos on segways and reviews them all based in the UK. Oh yes, here we go. So I actually wanted to see if I could come across this, come across Canal Street. If you watch my day video, day vlog, 
Um, going up the canals here in Manchester, you would have... Oh no. Oh, there you go. Batteries run out on the uh, Karma Grip, so we'll turn that guy off. I think whilst we've stopped here, I will pop this in the backpack like so um, yeah speed speedy wheel speed feet oh, I can't remember what they're called I put it in the bottom they're really good they're really really good really good long solid reviews um, and they sell stuff on their website and that sort of good stuff too but this is cool Saturday night you know gonna have to uh, do this in every city daytime and nighttime videos it's just so much fun you know i'm just gonna pop you off for a second make sure we are still rolling yes we are beautiful how are you guys doing hope you're doing well hope you enjoying the video just make sure the mic is still going okay we are back on so we're filming something over here a little film crew hopefully let's move this down slightly cool let's go let's let's go up uh, so this is canal street one of the main places to come for a night out now this isn't going to be quick but it doesn't have to be fast all the time just drink it in drinking the sights people are having a good time I'm out having a good time. I'm out, out on my wheel. It's all lit up. They're gonna love this. There's crazy lights on my wheel. We got the drag queens. Whoop. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is it's quite a long street actually. <laughs> that is some great costume. Costume. So yeah, here we are. Got some statues going on. This ground is weird. <laughs> so last week in Liverpool, I got a puncture. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog. And then I got, I went to the bike shop and I got these patches this guy recommended and he was like look you just stick it on really quick fix you'll love it and I thought great two pounds get six patches and I don't know if you've ever taken one of these apart it is first time it's a bit of a mission second third fourth and fifth <laughs> you sort of get used to it so yeah I took it off put the patch on Two days later, it popped. So I replaced it, replaced it again. So I replaced it about three times. And it wasn't until the other day, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go back to the old school. I mean, your kid used to have to put it in water and a bit of proper glue, do a proper fix. So I did a proper fix for the fifth time, lucky. And ever since then, I'm just sort of a bit, bit conscious as to how the inflation of the wheel is. Because if it goes a bit soft, I'm like, oh no, not again. So that's what it just felt like on there on those little cobblestones. But anyway, I've actually found a place, the speedy feet people.co.uk, those guys, they sell they sell the inner tube. So I've ordered an inner tube for it as a quick replacement, just in case, just in case. And I've also found a tire on Amazon from the Kenda, Kenda brand who make the, the wheels. Found that and ordered me an off-roady, more of an off-road, off-road wheel. So thicker tread, still good and recommended for this wheel. But let's get a bit of speed up. But yeah, thicker treads, because I like to take, start taking it out out of the city maybe even catching the train out like I did when I was in Tymouth and stuff and um, we're gonna need that thicker tread and also it'll just 
there'll be less chance of getting a getting a flat tire so I'm not sure how legal this is but I'm sure bikes do it <laughs> down the tram lines so I think I've almost come back on myself unintentionally I've just got that home in Beacon on where I'm staying this is like back into the city centre tram lines yeah there you go Arndale Centre is just there see what's going on in here we'll come down got the green light so tomorrow we're off to Nottingham almost I think yeah pretty close to finish, completing the UK tour already so we've got Nottingham Sheffield the London O2 which is going to be sick massive audiences and then after that we head back up we go to Leeds that's where my younger brother my only brother lives <laughs> my little young blood go hang out with him that'd be nice and then uh, Glasgow again because we were there but we were only there for rehearsals and then we're off to Belfast and that is it we got a bit of a break before we head over to Europe which is you know look I'm from England if you guys aren't from England um, this is probably a little bit more exciting to look at um, for me I'm you know I'm used to the UK but Europe I oh, can't wait to film around Europe it's gonna be so good zipping around VL out first up we got Geneva no no Zurich in Switzerland and then we got Geneva so two weeks in Switzerland uh, pop up this curb here Woohoo! And then I got another little break, and then after that we're off to Riga, Latvia, um, oh, all, all over the place. So please stay tuned, please subscribe, hit that like button. Apparently it helps your channel out. Hey, look who we got here! We got the Lamborghini again. He's doing what I'm doing. He's doing his little blockies. I mean, I would as well. Yes, mate. I'll race you. <laughs> The guys just I wonder if they hire it. I feel like a lot of people hire those cars and just cruise about. Try and pick up the Lady R's. Um I've no idea where I've gone now. Sort of lost track. Chatting. Hope you're enjoying the conversations. Um any questions guys, you know, hit me up. Oh this is a tight tight there we go. Feel like we're getting out of the city now. Those lads are ready to go home. Um, yeah hit me up let me know ask me anything give me something to talk about or unless yeah, I can't when I, when I start these videos like just then I was just sat in my hotel room packing my bag thought you know what it's Saturday night let's see what we can go and capture um, and I, I've, I've no I, I don't have any pre pre-organised conversation with myself about what I'd like to talk about or what we so the thing it's all about what sort of happens really so yeah let me know let me know what you want to know I'm going to work on this review video for this Inmotion V8 but I'll be honest with you <laughs> I'm, even, I'm so obsessed I've been checking out other unicycles and this King Song King Song 16S looks like an absolute beast now you get your, your your bigger ones your monster ones with massive battery bits that's not that's not what I'm, uh, I'm after I don't need a massive wheel and I don't need 30 miles an hour but if I could get 22 miles an hour or 23 think those King Songs do and then an extended range of up to actually getting 50, 40 miles an hour as this all they say 20 but I reckon you know I reckon this would max out about 18 miles an hour even on flat stuff you know um, I guess it all depends on weather as well and your body weight and all that stuff. But King Song just looks like a really good wheel. And also, <laughs> I'm also eyeing up a little 10 inch wheel as well. So I've started to learn some tricks. I do like, I like to do circus based style acrobatics and uh, uh, there's a guy on YouTube, a French guy who's really so good. He's a circus acrobat circus performer and he's got one he must be 
an ambassador for in motion it's probably one of the one of the tipping points as to why i went with in motion just i guess because he had them and he was really good on them but yeah he's pulls off some really sick moves so i've been practicing that as well so it's a lot of fun so yeah and he uses a 10 inch wheel because smaller the wheel the uh the easier and easy it is to manipulate it and do your little spinny tricks okay so i feel like this vlog has gone on long enough so i'm gonna end it in a moment i just want to come up here see if we can see anything else we've got tiger tiger the bird cage and this is like the arndale center the big shopping mall but this is the way back back to the hotel there's also the northern quarter which is just to the right here great place really good bar it's more of an alternative hipster vibe does really awesome coffee um, which is where I've been going been going for my morning coffees you know actually let's uh, swing a right in here let's see what's going on I'm not sure it'll be all, as all lit up like the other places but no here we go look bar 21 I've no idea I'm not it's been a long time since I went to a bar on a night out Busy, you know, busy place, Manchester. But this is a lot of fun. Look at him, Scooter Boy. That's a good one, Scooter Boy. Bad Future Boy. Going ahead against traffic. <laughs> so that's the thing. It's so slow. And once you get the grip, get to grips with this thing, you just feel so nimble. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm telling you, it's the, this is the best thing. Yes, mate. <laughs> oh, it's just good. It's good vibes. I love it. It's good energy. Manchester has got some good nighttime energy vibes. So people, I mean, people are walking in the street, so you may as well uh, ride the one wheel. They haven't even noticed me. I haven't. <laughs> all right all right all right that's long enough hopefully i haven't kept you too long if you stay tuned the whole time thank you so much i appreciate all your support um the views are great it's just nice to see the content being watched um and i've i just checked on youtube there and i think i'm going to call i'm going to call it electric unicycle vlogs um don't know if you you must be aware of those like motor vlogs motorcycle riders do this style of vlogging on their motorbike and they have a nice pov of their uh their motorbike there which i'm thinking about putting a gopro on the the euc the in motion as well to get some different angles so i'm working on that working on actually to buy some more um grippy frame things for the gopros but yeah share share like comment subscribe if you're not subscribed and um oh what a great place to end for these cool lights now that's usually let's take this up it's usually fountains i hope they don't come on because that would suck <laughs> yeah like comment subscribe and stay tuned because we'll be putting out a new video every single week i'm going to start thinking about putting it out on a certain day so you can tune in on those days but definitely once a week i'll be going out doing either a daytime now or nighttime video of oh my god are they... what's going on over there a little mosh pit all right we've got to go check that out sorry guys stay stay tuned stay tuned let me just jump off here i've got to find out what that is can't miss out on this good stuff. Look at this beautiful thing. Yes. Go across the grass. Oh, I see. 
this all about? Very cool. <laughs> There you go. People are just making their own parties. I think there's a uh, a door fee there, or any sort of uh, <coughs> special clothing you need to wear, or turn out with certain people. Anyway, I'm going off. I'm going off. Let's end this now. I'm going to go to the store park. I'm going to end it, guys. Thank you so much again for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one live laugh and love take it easy all the best see you soon peace